Hi, good morning grade one students and welcome back. I hope that you are ready for our next lesson. Today is Thursday, 27th of May in the year 2021 and this is grade one maths. The number of the week is zero. Let us go and spell the number zero now. So, Z E R O zero. Some people would say Z E R O zero. As long as you know how to write it, all right. And this is the figure zero, and this is the number in words. How do we write the number zero? How do we write figure zero? Let's take a look at this. How do we write the number zero? Around and around and around we go. That's Easy, the way easy, to right? make you zero. Let's try it again. Around and around and around we go. That's the way to make zero. Let's see if you can say it this time. Nice, nice job. job. So, do you remember how to spell zero? Let's see. There are two letters missing from it. And what are the two letters? So we have Z or Z. What comes here? E. Nice. R, then O. Oh, great job. Z, E, R, O, zero. And the fun fact about zero, when you're adding any number to zero, you're going to get back the same number. So here, let's read this addition number sentence. It says one plus, remember this is a plus sign, zero equals, this is our equal sign, one. So one plus zero equals one. So it's as though you have one thing in your hand and somebody just gave you nothing else. So you still have one. So one plus zero equals one. Now let's move on to some counting. Let's sing our song. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger. So which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Okay, let's do some counting now. So here we have this first number is one. Put up one finger in the air, everyone. So we have the number one. And we make the number one by just going straight down. And here I have one cat nice this is one cat could you find something else in your house and hold it up and show me one find one thing next to you nice i see one pencil one book one eraser great job that's one now let's spell the number one together all right it's spelled o n e one O, this is letter O, N, letter N, E, 1. So when we're spelling, we see the names of the letters, all right? So that was 1. Let's move on to this number. Let me see your fingers up. Let me see your tools. Put your two fingers up. Great job. And see if you can find two things in your house. Hold up two objects. Did you find two things? Two pencils, two erasers, two crayons, two clothespins? Nice, two, right? So here I have one, two. I have two hats, so that's what I have for two. And how do we make the number two again when we're writing the figure two? What do we do? We make a candy cane, then give it a shoe. That's the way we make a two, right? So this is the figure two. And now let's spell two together. We're going to do in words, all right? So the first letter, t, that's the letter T. So let's go T. This is T. W. O. Two. One more time. T. W. 
or two. That spells two. So we have number two. Let's make the number two in the air. Let's make a candy cane and then give it a shoe. So we have the number two and let's spell it aloud together. Let's go. T W O. Nice job, everyone. Let's move on to our next number. Hold up your fingers. Three fingers up in the air, everyone. Three fingers up. All right, then. One, two, three. Now let's make our number three. It says around the tree, around the tree. That's the way to make a tree. Make it in the air then. Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way we make a tree. Now, do you have tree things nearby? Oh, do you already have tree fingers up? Do you have anything else that you could get tree off? Okay, nice job. So let's see, I have tree rats here. So yes, that's what I have for the number tree. One, two, three, tree rats. Now let's spell tree together. So let's go T H R E E tree. One more time. T H. Remember, we're saying the names of the letters. R E E tree. That's how we spell number tree. Next number. What is this number? It's number four. Great job. There you see your four fingers up. Wonderful job. All right, so let's write figure four. We're gonna write the number four. So we go a down and across and down some more. That's the way we make a four, right? So that's number four. So let me put up my four things for you guys. I have four mats. One, two, three, four mats. Do you have anything of the four in your house? Okay, wonderful. Great job, everybody. You're doing such a wonderful job today. Right, so I have my four things right here. I have four mats. Now let's spell four together. It starts with the letter F. Nice. This is letter F. Now go F O U R 4. Let's spell it again. F O U R Four, right? That is the number four. And our final number for today. Drum roll, please. What is that number? Five. Right now, all our fingers are free. So we have the number five. Let's write figure five. Let's write number five. You go down and around with a flag up high. That's the way we make a five. Right? So that's the number five. Let's see what I have here for five. Is this five? Let's count it and see. I have one, two, three. This is not five. How many more do I need to make five? So I'm going to see I have three. And let's see. On my fingers, I hold my tree and I see I need two more to make five. So let's put two more. So that means three and two. Or three plus two gives us five. So now I have my number five. Here I have five bats. Now let's spell five together. It starts with the letter F. Nice. So we have F I V E five. Right. Let's spell it one more time. F I V E five that's the number five now it's time to take a dive all right let's try it together we're gonna do some practice together we're gonna match the kites to their names so the kites have numbers in them right and we have to match it to their number names on here so these are just the figures up here or the digits the numerals Right, these are them up here, but we have to match it to the number names, which is in words. Okay, so let's look at this first number. It goes down, across, then down some more. So that means it is the number four. Nice. Number four. How do we spell four? It starts with a letter F. It starts with an F. So I see two words down here that start with an F. This one. And this one, what is the next letter that comes out after the F? So you have F, O, all right. 
Does this one have FO? No, this one has FI. So that's, that cannot be the answer. This one has FO. Let's spell it out and see. F O U R four, right? So do they match? Yes, they do. So that's the number four. F O U R four. Let's look at this one now. So you go like down and around and it's flat up high. So this means this is the number five. And how do we spell number five? It starts with an F. So we have one more word that has a letter F that begins with a letter F. So this is F I B E. This spells five. Yes, nice job. So this spells five. F I V E five. This next number right here, around the tree, around the tree. That's the way we make a tree. This is number three. So let's find the number three. What letter does the number three start with? It starts with the letter T. So here I see a letter T and here I see a letter T. What letter comes next after the T? T H. Is this the letter H? No, no, no. That is the letter W. Is this the letter H? Yes, it is. So let's spell and see. T H R E E. Tree. So that is the number three. And finally, what is this number? Make a candy cane, then give it a shoe. That's the way we make a two. Nice job. So let's see the final one. Let's see, let's see if it spells two. T W O two. Right. That spells two. Nice job, everyone. Now it's your turn to do some practice. You're going to say how many. Count and write the number in figure and words. So here is your first one. We're going to do this one together for an example. So here is like the margin in your book. So here, how many do I have? I have one. This is one. So let's spell it together. O N E one. Right, so this is one. So in your books, you would have your margin, and behind your margin, you would put eight for the first one. And so you write the number in figure, and then you spell it in words. All right, so this is eight, and then this would be one. So now, this is the line that would be in your book. So you would write it on the line. So this is how it would look. You have a behind the margin. You write the figure, and you spell it out in words. Okay. There's the next one for you. This would be B. How many here? You write the figure and you write it in words. Next one, C. Write the figure, write it in words. And D. How many? You write the figure and you write it in words. Try to spell it all by yourself, okay? And E. So you write the figure and then you write it in words, alright? And that will be all. So bye-bye, so long, farewell. All right, enjoy the rest of your day.